Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the outdoors. Something a little bit different today. I'm going to cook up some perch. My last video I put out had some really big perch, really good perch fishing in general. And I had a lot of comments that were like, why didn't you keep the perch? Why aren't you eating those perch? Well, I am, I did. I kept four perch from that day and we're going to cook them up today. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do a blackened perch recipe instead of your traditional fried fish and all that. We're going to try a blackened fish. I've done this before with Cajun seasoning, but I'm going to try the Chipotle seasoning from Catch and Cook. So that's this one right there. There's the whole lineup of the Catch and Cook stuff. These are amazing fish batters. I don't just say that because I like Jay. I say that because I actually like these. The spicy is probably my favorite. The original is probably my second. The beer batter is probably my third. They're all good. And they have some different spices as well. Like I said, this is the Chipotle one. It's called All Terrain. This one's called Whiteout. This one's a, a garlic seasoning. And this one is Campfire. It's a smoked salt. So I've already got my Chipotle seasoning here. I've got the butter that's been going in the pan. And then the fish. There's my Chipotle seasoning I'm using here. So we are going to get that frying pan on the fire. Get it nice and hot. And uh, take you through the process. This is honestly like the easiest recipe you can ever imagine in terms of cooking. It's like three items, water, butter, seasoning. That's it. Already got my pan cleaned out. So we'll get it on there first. I just got some nice hot coals, which is all you really need. Going to have a good chunk of butter. Get that all melted in there. Blackened fish, you want hot, hot pan. For this, taking our fish, dipping it in the water. Crushing it into the seasoning here, just like that. Crushing it in really good. And then laying it on the side here. You want nice hot. Probably got a little too much butter in there, so I'm gonna dump just a little bit out, but not much. You wanna almost like, you almost wanna burn that butter type of thing. Let's get our first batch going here. Try to get that pan level just to evenly spread out the butter. There we go. This fish will be spicy too. You're doing about three minutes a side, I would say. It doesn't have, it's not gonna take that long, but you wanna kinda like, you literally wanna blacken it. Now it's not gonna be burnt, it's gonna be the seasoning that's gonna be the black part of it, but that's why they call it blackened fish. See how it's got some blackness in there? Oh yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, those are looking good. Oh yes. There's a good blackened one right there. You don't want to put too many in your pan. You want that pan to have good heat. First batch finished and let that cool down a little bit, get some more in there and then we'll do a taste on the video. Well, second batch is cooking. Let's have a taste test. Nice white meat. Mmm, the crisp. Nailed it. Starting to get a little bit of spice, which I like. I like a little bit of spice. Mmm. Yeah. This is really good. This is better than the Cajun. I've done Cajun walleye like this before, a black, and this is better. Mmm. This is good. Spicy, but really good. Looking good. This is probably my favorite blackened recipe yet. I like it. Now, if you don't like spicy food, this one isn't for you. But if you like food with a little bit of kick, this is really good. Well, yeah, that was uh, excellent. Uh, I'd say nine and a half out of 10. Amazing flavor, spicy. Like I said, though, if you don't like spicy food, this one won't be for you. 
The catch and cook link is in my website or in, my, in the description of this video below. It'll take you right to the website where you can order everything. They're gonna have bundles on there for Christmas soon, I believe, and all that kind of fun stuff. The Catch and Cook will also be at the Winnipeg Ice Fishing Show. So if you wanna wait and save on some shipping, you can buy it from, from them, right from the Catch and Cook at the Ice Fishing Show, Winnipeg Ice Fishing Show. And yeah, if you do buy it from my link below, I get a small little kickback, but that's really not why I do this. Jay and Josh are good friends. They make a very good product and I enjoy it. I wanna do more videos like this in the future. That's something I really need to get back to is just like why I started this channel, just to show the whole adventure of the outdoors, not just the fishing stuff. There's so much more to it than just going out fishing all the time. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, get outside.